Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of products review, specifically footwear design. And I also include few different looks to go with the show or to the products that I do my review. In this video, we're gonna do a quick review on this brand new release from Converse brand, the Chuck Taylor Constructs. If you bought with the Chuck 70, then Check this brand new model out from Converse brand. I think they just released last week. The pricing on the regular Jux Taylor construct is $85 for this black and white version. Uh, for this botanical camo pattern, it's $95 because this version they released for celebrating Black History Month. So it's only $10 different. The shoe fit me perfectly, fresh up the box, and also is very lightweight. I don't have to take time to break it in. Compared to the Juke 70 though, I have to take a couple wear to break it in for sure. Um, the shoe shape on this sneaker though, I would say it's better than the Juke 70. Juke 70, the length of it is a little bit elongated. And also uh, the shoe shape from the top down view, they are slimmer. This one pretty much very good for my foot whip and also the length of these shoes is not really elongated and the comfort on these shoes is very comfortable. Hopefully that comfort is going to keep you in a long wear, not just fresh off the box. You know, a lot of shoes that they feel very good when you wear them fresh off the box and after a couple wear, it's going to start hurting your feet. Hopefully that feeling not going to be in this uh, Jux Taylor constructs. There's a few upgrade detail on this Jux Taylor construct. The most visible detail on this Jux Taylor construct is this rubberized foxing overlay. This detail right here, it gives you more supportive and also the ability. Uh, but to me though, do you actually need that supportive and durability on this sneaker, right? Without, without this rubberized foxing overlay detail, I think it still works fine. However, without it, it's not gonna call the name Jux Taylor Constructs. Uh, it's a cool detail, but I just have a love and hate relationship with it. And another detail that I really, really like about this Jux Taylor Construct is this decorative stitching around the ankle in the lateral size and also in the medial size. In the middle side, you still can see that converse patch in the angle. However, this patch is just close in. I feel like it's kind of downgrade the quality or the execution on this sneaker upper because compared to the Chuck 70, right? They have the actual patch and then they stitch down. Maybe I'm a little bit picky in this detail wise, maybe not for other people. On this Black Joy's Jux Taylor construct, they basically just screen print on it. Uh, it even worse than the clue in patch on this version. So uh, definitely it's a big no-no for me for that detail. Um, I'm very picky on what I want and what I don't want. So bear with me, <laughs> okay? And go to the canvas material though. I feel like this canvas is a little bit lower rate compared to the Chuck 70 as well. Um, not really a big fan of this material canvas that they use on this regular Chuck Taylor constructs. Uh, compared to this one, this is a little bit tougher. It's a nicer material wise that they use on this canvas upper. When you touch the canvas, you will feel the material on the Chuck 70. It's better than this Chuck uh, Taylor construct. Another added detail on this Chuck Taylor construct is this cup sole. In my opinion, this cup sole is a little bit low quality compared to the traditional rubberized foxing that they use on the Jig 70. It's much better, even though it's an upgrade version of the Jig 70. It's make the shoes later weight and also it's more comfortable, but I'm not really feeling it on this cup sole. What the beauty about the Jug 70 though is the rubberized foxings with the top shine coating on the rubber foxing. That's how it make the Jug 70 
feel like a premium product. This cup so I feel like a machinery create this shoe. On the Tuck 70 is a human hand, a craftsmanship, a person, the actual person that put the shoes together. Then this machinery put this shoe together. Definitely not really a big fan of this cup sole. I just feel like this cup sole is soulless. I don't know if you guys have that feeling, but when you get this shoe, you will know what I'm talking about. And on the outsole tooling, you can see on top layer, they're using the herringbone pattern thread. And on the lay, you still can see that traditional diamond shape. When I wear the shoes, put the shoes on, walk around my house, this pattern dress don't really give you a good grip. I feel slightly slippery when I wear the show. And styling with these shoes, I think I have fun styling with this brand new design from Converse brand. Um, I actually make seven looks, but I only pick like, I think four looks make it to the final for this video to share with you guys it's not really a big issue in my opinion because this shoe can go with anything even though they have minor design detailed or different than the Jack 70 on the upper look at it at the converse sneaker the Jack 70 you will do just fine and up next i'm gonna share with you guys my full outfit that i create to go with the show So there you have it. What you think about this 
Chuck Taylor construct and what you think about what I say machinery versus human hand uh, craftsmanship comment below in the comment section and if you like one of the look in this video comment below in the comment sections and give me a thumb up that would help me a lot and subscribe to my channel for more video I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys I'm out